Those are real MC4 connectors. MC right on them. That is the HM1500. It's four MPPT inputs for four solar panels. Your MPPT range on here is 16 to 48 with an operating range of 16 to 60 volts DC. Output current of 5.99 amps AC. It's one of the highest power microinverters available. Here we have the miscellaneous. This is the um, disconnect tool, port disconnect tool. This is a DTU Pro. This is the monitoring equipment. Our instructions. And, uh, there it is. Oh, isn't that sweet? That is nice. I like that. Tighten them up. You got the USB port. plug adapter and a little port for your RS-45 that plugs in there to the RS-45 and a little wall mount bracket so you can hang this on your wall really cool nice I like it sorry here we go next All right. this is the single Boy Miles HM350. So yeah, I was supposed to get two of these. I only received one. I think somebody messed up packing the box. I only received one. I was supposed to receive two. This is the HM350. This is a single one MPPT. has a output of 1.45 amps AC. <laughs> Love it. Uh, errors on errors on the label. Amazing. All right, well, I will let them know. I got a DC where it should say AC. You got one port connector, C4 connectors. like the best. This is the 700 NT. It's a dual. It doesn't have all the fins. It's nice. Bigger. Those are my new Hoy Miles inverters. Right, let's take the, these parts out of the bag. These are end caps, and then these are port caps. So here. Over here is the cable. The end cap goes into the end here and you tighten it down and that seals the last cable in the line. That's a port. The port cap fits on the port to cover it. If you have a spot where you don't have an inverter on the string, like you had a long distance between the two panels and uh, you had to skip one you can put a port cap on it 
And then that's the uh, port cover remover. So that removes this cover so you can get in here and you can extend this cable and join it to the next cable. And you see I have a bunch more cables over here. So, and uh, yeah, that's the point mile system. We've got the monitoring, the cables, the inverters, and the connectors. And uh, that's how it works. It's very simple, practically plug and play. Look forward to testing it out this week on my own system. I'm going to replace one of my Enphase IQ8 Plus with one of these, the uh, 350, and see how it does. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And we'll make more videos right away.